Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the different types of the hook bar. So there are mainly three types of the hook bar. We say at 90 degree, 180 degree, and 135 degree. So these are here represented by A, here A, B, and C. These are three different types of the hook bar. And where we see such type of the hook bar, so to show so to show it here, let's suppose these are the two beam cross section. So the stirrups are provided in the beam. These are the stirrups here, are the ties in the column. They are provided in the column or beam in order to take the shear forces or shear stresses. So there are various types of the hooks provided in the stirrups. For example, this is a 135 degree hook. I will explain that which type of hook that is and why it is called 135 degree hook. Similarly, here in this section, we also have 135 degree hook in the stirrup. So these are the hooks and we also have 90 degree hook or 180 degree hook and how these hooks are classified into different types. So let's again coming to our, our basic picture which, which shows the three types of the hook. So the first one is 90 degree hook, the second one is 180 degree hook and the third one is 135 degree hook. So why we use such type of different hooks? Because sometimes we need less bond strength between the concrete and steel, we provide the 90 degree hook and when we have to use, when we need high, high bond strength between the concrete and steel, then we need the 180 degree hook in our stirrups or in our ties. And 135 degree hook is also known as the seismic hook. In the earthquakes, we mostly provide the 135 degree hook. And how these hooks are classified? Now, if I consider this is any hook, the first one, the 90 degree, so, so this is the first part of the hook. And it has been bent. If you see to the bent part, so it is being bent at an angle of 90 degrees. So the angle between this one and this one, it is 90 degree angle. That's why it's known as the 90 degree hook. Similarly, if we look to this part of the hook and it is being bent at an angle of 180 degree. This angle between these bent is 180 degree. That's why we call it the 180 degree hook. In similar case, if we look to this one, so in this case, the angle between the vertical and this bent part is the 135 degree. That's why it's known as the 135 degree hook. But now, what will be the bending length in case of the 90 degree hook, 180 degree hook and 135 degree hook? So for this case, I will take again this example. So for example, the first one was 90 degree hook. Here this one is 90 degree. This one is 180 degree. This one is 135 degree. So in case of the 90 degree hook, the this length, this bend length, how much should be this bend length, this one. So this bend length will be equal to the 12 into diameter of the bar. Where diameter is the, D is the diameter of this bar, the stirrup. So for example, in our case, the diameter of the bar, let's suppose, is 8 millimeter. So what will be the this bending length? So we will simply multiply this 12, multiplying it with the diameter, or 12 die is 8 millimeter. So we got here 96 millimeter. So 96 millimeter should be the this length, this bending length, or this bending length. This should be at least 96 millimeter. Now in case of the 180 degree hook, the bending length, this bending length should be equal to the 8 and sorry, this should be equal to the 4 into D. 4 into D, it means D is the diameter of this bar. So if again we have 8 millimeter bar, so this bending length will be 4 into diameter of the bar or we can say 4 into diameter in our case is 8 millimeter so we got here 32 millimeter so in this case the bending length is too much decreased here 
and this bending length becomes to be 32 millimeter this bending length is now 32 millimeter which is highly reduced as compared to the 90 degree hook because here we have more bending angle so we need to provide less bending length similarly in case of the 135 degree hook this bending length this bending length is equal to the 8 into d 8 into d means 8 into diameter of the bar so in this case 8 into diameter of the bar will be the bending length and 8 into diameter of bar let's again the diameter is 8 mm so 8 into 8 we got here 64 millimeter so in this case the bending length of this portion will be equal to the 64 millimeter so we can see here there are three different hooks provided in three different members maybe sometimes we need 90 degree hook sometimes we need 180 degree hook and sometimes we need 135 degree hooks these all depending on the load actions depending on the seismic for example in seismic regions we must have to provide the 135 degree hook and when there is no such uh, seismic regions we can deal with the 90 degree hook but when there is high demand of the bone strength we must have to provide the 180 degree hook in our stirrups or in our ties so this was the about the today lecture the different types of the hook and how we can find the different bending length these bending lengths are the recommended by the different codes hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our videos